Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Sit on Playing Dark Souls 2's Color of the First in Strength build. Last episode we finished all these keep, right? Um, to begin of this episode, off camera I have been grinding so much. <laughs> so much. I also did some more research on uh, where I can get Titanite and uh, the Petrified Dragon Bones and a lot of other crap. I know that I can get a sizable amount of these things in the next area, in the dragon area. There's a sizable amount of Twinkling Titanite and uh, Petrified Dragon Bones. So I'm gonna go and clear... Actually, the thing I'm gonna try to do is make it to a certain point in one of the DLCs. That is my next goal. Reason being is... Yeah, okay. Reason being is because there is a place in the Sunken King DLC which is going to give me, like, which is just gonna, ah, oh, fuck, <laughs> I did not want to use that. Which is going to give me enemies that I can, um, that I can form Twinkling Titanite from. And, yeah, I just, like, I'm sorry, I can form Twinkling Titanite and Petrified Dragon Bones. The way that I'm doing it right now is not particularly impossible, but the wiki suggests using, like, defeating the enemies in the place that I'm thinking about. Because there's a much higher chance of getting... And you can also get Titanite Slaps from those enemies. So, yeah. I'm just gonna go and continue with my journey. Until I reach that particular point. There isn't really too much more to do in a normal game, I would say. So, my plan right now is to reach that point, And then once again, go back to the areas. Farm the weapons that I still need. While also, in the meantime, farming souls. Uh, by the way, I've leveled up quite a sizable amount. I have put everything into... Or I could just divide everything into intelligence and faith. Because I need to bring my intelligence to level 20 and my faith to level 28 to be able to use all of the weapons that I decided that I was going to use in this plate. <laughs> I also, off camera, did upgrade a, like, a couple of boss weapons, I would say, and also a couple of these uh, Twinking Titanite weapons. So I've upgraded the rest, Red Rust Sword, I've upgraded the Black Knight Great Sword, Black Knight Ultra Great Sword, Smelter Sword plus Sinner Sword, and I think I also did the Gargoyle bident because i thought that would do more damage like that would do a sizable amount of damage which it does but it's not amazing <laughs> right wait if i go up here this is going to give me a shortcut back over to uh or like actually to the end of this place you don't even have to do this uh this entire place if you don't want to uh there's a statue over that way and there's nothing over this way <laughs> this is an entirely optional area there's an item over there that i kind of want to get this is an entirely optional area, at least in this game. In the original game, it was not an optional area. You needed to go through this area. But, well, yeah. Now it's optional, and uh, if you don't care much for all this stuff, then you can just leave. But I very much care about all the uh, freaking Titanite shenanigans that I can get in an area like this. I'm gonna see if there's anything else around here, because it just takes me back to the top here. I did notice an item down here. There we go. And we should look at that, Twinkling Titanite. I could also, for instance, off-camera, bring this place to New Game Plus and gather the items if I wanted to. This is just going to give me more ways that I can grab Twinkling Titanite and Petrified Dragon Bones, because it's not horrendous having to farm for them, but it does take a long time, and it's not always a guaranteed drop from the enemy. So, And I also, I calculated with the amount of like, at the beginning of my grinding session, I calculated how many uh, petrified dragon bones I needed. Not, I didn't do that for the Twinkling Titanite because I didn't care. But, uh, yeah, I need 210 pieces of uh, petrified dragon bones for all the boss weapons that I would own right now. Which is a little bit insane. Oh no, get out of here. So, we have new mummy types in here. These mummy types are assholes. <laughs> they suck. They uh, they blow up and then they also basically destroy your equipment. So yeah, I will definitely make sure that you can deal with that shit. Let me also go and get this one equipped. Maybe can I wear something lighter than black leather? Uh, yep, yeah, heavy boots, nice. Another thing, bonfire static, nice. The really stupid thing, however, is that I need like that that magic crap lot of faith. And intelligence, which means that I'm probably never going to upgrade my vitality. <laughs> which is a little bit unfortunate. 
Another mechanic around here is that, at least I think so, if you destroy a certain amount of eggs, then the dragons... Like, at the end of this place you will have to cross, uh, to cross over a bridge. Really slowly. And if you kill too many, or if, if you destroy too many eggs, the dragons will, or like a dragon will, uh, and in any case, attack the bridge and kill you. Which in the original game matters because you have to go through this area. But in this version of the game it really doesn't matter too much because you can just reset the area and make the dragons forget. Monster. I know. I am indeed a monster. I was about to say, like, I can hear it. I can hear a titanite. Oh, boy. Let me go and shoot him and see if I can... Nope, okay. Okay, yep, I can kill him in one shot with this. That's the reason why I equipped my crossbow. Just so I could one shot these things when they, uh... When they were running at me. Because I... Don't want to lose my equipment. That'd be very nice. I also don't remember... The spawning place of all of them. So I can see... A couple of titanite lizards. There's also one of these boys, which I will now go and kill. Alright, I'm going to run this way. And one shot this dude with this strong attack. It does use up a metric crap load of my durability, so... It's a good move, and all I jazz, but... It's an expensive move to do. Since it costs my equipment's... Uh, durability by quite a lot. I do have different weapons. That is the very handy thing about this entire playthrough, that I will have a lot of different weapons that are going to be upgraded. Um, speaking of which, I think for this battle I do want to equip something else. Let me go and... Uh, wake this guy up, eh? So as you would expect in a dragon area, there's a lot of dragons. These guys don't respawn, you kill them once, and that's the end of it. So you don't have to worry about that too much. I would suggest that after you've killed them, Go back to this area and destroy as many, if not all, of the uh, Titanite Lizards that you can. There you go. Giving me a Flame Quartz Ring plus two, okay. Also a sort of a Brave Warrior. There is a Titanite Lizard over there. I'm gonna see if I can kill the Titanite Lizards with my Great Sword. Yep, I can also one-shot him with this one, okay, good. Titanite Chunk, Twinkling Titanite, Dark Knight Stone. I also have a lot of these infusion stones right now. Because of the amount of... Uh, the amount of basilisks I've killed in all these keep. Because there were, like, I've also noticed something else off camera. So if and when you run into a situation where you despawn the enemies by killing them too many times, then you can go into the... Co oh, speaking of the Covenant of Champions. <laughs> Oops. I am still in the Covenant of Champions. Um, maybe I should, like, get out of this Covenant. Um, <laughs> wow. That's amazing. So, whenever you're in the Covenant of Champions, it doesn't really matter if you've already killed all of the enemies in a certain area and have already made them despawn, they will respawn. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. They will respawn. So... Yeah. Off camera, I just I tried to, like, make certain enemies despawn. Like the ogres and some other enemies that were in my way in a very tedious and very annoying way. I had to do all that stuff because I didn't want to kill any of the other dudes. And yeah, it ended up in absolute failure and it was not fun. <laughs> and it was a waste of time, so... Yeah. Then I just figured out another way to kill three of those uh, dragon acolytes with relative ease. Oh, nice. I'm gonna keep myself in the Covenant of Champions, I think. I, I don't care too much about it. At least not for the time being. I think once I reach a bonfire, once I'm done with this area, or whatever, then I'll go and uh, switch back. Just to make my life a little bit easier. Because it is gonna be a little... Well, it is always a little bit more annoying if the enemies have more HP. The greatest thing is, like, I'm not gonna have any more stats than I already have right now. So... <laughs> I'm not going to do more damage than I'm doing right now. Unless if I have a very specific weapon or something. Alright. So, there is... A mummy dude over to my right. There's nothing down there. It's just pure death. Basically. There are, once again, quite a sizable amount of Titan lizards. Kind of wondering if you can grind... 
the dragons in here. If you go into the Covenant of Champions. Petrified Dragon Bow. Do these guys even drop that? Not even sure. No, well, I guess I'll figure it out in a moment. So, there's one Titanite Lizard down there. Um, there's another one over there. There might be another one underneath the dragon. He's like, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Ah, okay. I pressed the roll button, but they, I pressed it too late, so... These dragons can one-shot me, I just noticed. Well, maybe not one-shot me, but they can definitely do a lot of damage to me in the... When I'm in the Covenant of Champions. <laughs> maybe I should leave the Covenant of Champions. You know what, I'll leave the Covenant of Champions once I'm done with this area once. Because I'm gonna go through this area again to get all the Titan Blizzards anyway, so... The craziest thing about the Covenant of Champions is just the fact that you don't even get anything special from them. Like, sure, you get you get the Awe Stones, which you can then use to... Uh, oh, I already got this one. Which you can then use to get a couple of items from the Monument of Champions or whatever it's called. But it's not really worth it, I feel. I was about to say, like, oh, I hear, I hear <laughs> And I thought some of them were to my left. This guy's gonna blow up. We run at you and we explode. <laughs> I'm gonna blow up. Happy Souls. If you like Dark Souls 2, or if you just like Dark Souls in general, it's a very amusing thing to watch, I would say. Can I please kill you before you disappear? Thank you. This weapon is the best weapon to kill Titan. Let's just wait. Titanite charge, twinkling Titanite. I definitely need the twinklies and also the petrified dragon bones. Because, yeah, 210. <laughs> I already collected quite a sizable amount, but not enough quite yet, <laughs> which is a little bit annoying, but not entirely unexpected. Hello, TV. I see that you want to shut yourself off. I can also hear mummies around me, which scares the living crap out of me. I think if I drop down, I might not be able to return, but oh well. then I'll just go and get myself out of, my, out of the Covenant of Champions. <laughs> There's a dude that's going to blow himself up. There we go. A Ferris Lockstone, and this is a one-way ticket, right? Yep. Okay. I'm going to go back over to Majula and get myself out of this... <laughs> out of this... Uh, uh, joke of a covenant. <laughs> what kind of? I do really like the way that it exists, because they're like, Okay, you want to farm? Have fun farming when everything is a lot more difficult. <laughs> You're basically fighting enemies in New Game Plus, I feel. I feel like those are the the stats that you have to deal with when you're running around with the, in the Covenant of Champions. Um, yeah, once again, I don't know the specifics. I could look it up, but actually, I don't even know if, there, if, if I can find the specifics about, like, how much, uh, how much it uh, buffs the enemies. Open the door. Close the door. I originally thought that Fusro Dao meant, like, when I heard Fusro die in certain meme videos or whatever, I always thought that he said, close the door. Because <laughs> I didn't play Skyrim at that point. Right. Let me go and put uh, another level into my faith. Because I'm going to need to bring that stat to level 28. You know, I might also have, a, like, a better time farming um, in the layer of the Imperfect. There are enemies in... Uh, the sunken DLC. They're called the Imperfect. They're like dinosaur things. They're probably gonna wreck my face in multiple ways. But they might have a better chance of dropping the items that I need to. And also probably give me a lot more souls. Which is in turn gonna be very handy to, you know, get the stats that I still need. I'm very interested to see how this is gonna go. So you're gonna try to blow yourself up, but I'm not gonna allow you to do that. Because I am somebody who doesn't like people suffering. What am I even talking about? <laughs> uh, that make no sense. Doesn't matter. Since when am I supposed to make sense? Am I right? Since when has a huge like is a YouTuber supposed to make sense? Okay, so the dragons do disappear. The dragons don't respawn. 
Did the Titan Knight Lizard respawn? Large Titan Knights, Titan Knight Chunk, Petrified Dragonbone. I can hear you. Oh, you ain't stupid. He says this. Another one sneaks up on him. I thought I already killed this one. Or this might be one that was underneath a dragon. Hmm. Titan Knight Chunk, Petrified Dragonbone, <laughs> Old Monday instead. I love it. So the dragons do not respawn. Or maybe they do. I did leave the Covenant of Champions. I'm confused. <laughs> Not sure if you notice it, but I'm a little bit confused. Alright, there's a freaking squad coming down here. How is this gonna... Oh. Where am I? I have no idea. But I'm, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Nor do I want to be here. Also, how's my equipment looking after that shot? Yeah. I do not want to break my rings, so I'm gonna use a repair pattern. Are they still here? They probably are. You're going uh, shoot him. Cause fuck him. <laughs> okay. Right. Gold pine resin. That is always useful, I would say. Or at least against certain enemies. Just go walk up to these guys. They're gonna get in their knees and die. <laughs> Dark pine. Okay, so we get a lot of different pine resins from these guys. That's very interesting. It still doesn't make me want to farm them, though. <laughs> There's basically no point doing that. I'd rather spend my souls buying them than farming it from these enemies. In a certain way, I would also much more prefer buying Twinkling Titanite and um, the Petrified Dragon Bones with souls if I could. Even though they are ridiculously expensive, but at the same time, it's better than having to chance it with a certain percent drop chance. <laughs> right, we have another Titanite lizard over here. Run! Boo -doo 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 -doo. Don't disappear. Thank you. <laughs> I was not sure if I was going to be able to hit him. Large Titanite Shard, uh, Titanite Chunk, and Petrified Dragon Bone. So this is the area that, like, if you bring this area to New Game Plus, you can get a lot of different type night shenanigans. There's also one of those clerics that I didn't kill in this particular run, but, eh, I don't care. <laughs> Who needs space when you have a giant sword that cleaves through everything? So, um, there are some items around here. There's also a mummy. I'm sorry, there's multiple mummies. Even though they're not called mummies, I'm not sure what they're called, actually. I was thinking they might be called husks or something. That seems like a name that would make sense to me. Okay. Are there any Titan Is it underneath your body? I don't think so. I'm gonna attack your wing. And wake you up. Can I? Okay, I can actually. What? I wonder if you can cut off their wings. That'd be interesting. Or can you cut off their tails? I haven't even tried doing that before. Actually, you can. Wow. <laughs> you don't get anything from it in this game, but... It is still pretty dang cool that you can do it. Can you please move a little bit more towards this direction? <laughs> well, see, he hits me. And I kill him. Uh, petrified dragon bone. Petrified something. Ooh. I'm also gonna need those to get my certain drop chance from <laughs> the freaking crows. I can also do it with normal smooth and silky stones, which I can get from the enemies in the Shrine of Amana. So that's another thing that I can go and farm if I am not lucky enough to get it the normal way. Bladestone. There's a Titanite Knight Lizard up there. kind of want to see though. Can I get up there? I might be able... You know, let me go back for a moment because I think I might have missed something. So I could hear a twinkling titanite lizard. Or just a titanite lizard. <laughs> why do I call it a t I don't know, man. Well, actually, I know why. Because they usually give you twinkling titanite. That's like one of the only... I would say one of the only ways that you can get it. Alright, you have a freaking miracle caster asshole over there, which I don't care about. Oh, hello. For some kind of reason, I forgot about him. Okay. So there's a titanite lizard 
on this platform maybe? No? No, it's on this platform over here. I was not sure if I was going to be able to get it. Uh, another Titanite slab, two large Titanites, and two normal Titanites. Okay, that's cool. I like it. I'm a fan of that. Okay. I can hear more. Oh, boy. I was about to say, like, oh, there, there. <laughs> I heard another one. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Is there anything else that I might have missed? At this point. This area is not too big either, so... It is very confusing, though, I will say. Or at least in my humble opinion. I do find this place to be a little bit disorienting. Uh, there is an item on that thing, which I don't know what it is. I know how to get it. Or at least I have an idea. It's not particularly too difficult to do either. But... Hmm. It's gonna bring me over there. Um, where is this? thing. Where is this item thing? It's down there. Can I get onto that pla- yeah, okay. I see. Yes. Indeed. Um, I have to go from the other way. I have to go from all the way back there. I think that's the, the entrance, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, like that's the- yeah, I'm gonna go towards the entrance with this rope over here. It is above the bonfire, so... I think I should normally be able to get my... Souls back over here. Okay. So, I can see the thing over there. How do I drop? Okay. Right, let's see how this is gonna go. And drop. <laughs> and then you roll, because... Fuck you, that's why. <laughs> yeah, that's Dark Souls 2 for you. Jumping and then rolling behind it. It would have been handier if they made it so that you would only roll if you held up your control stick. You know, like it works in almost every other game that I play. <laughs> oh well. It's not the most recent game, so... And even if it was a more recent game, I don't really care too much about it. It allows you, like, it, it just makes you have to be more careful. And drop it now. I did not press the correct button. <laughs> I pressed the A button instead of the B button. Well, shit. Alright, this guy's gonna blow himself up. The other guy's gonna try to destroy my equipment. Interesting gameplay you got over here, buddy. How many things did I actually get from this? I got six... Wow, I got six uh, petrified dragon bones. That's pretty decent. If you're wondering, you need 15 freaking petrified dragon bones and also 15 twinkling titanite per weapon that you want to fully upgrade. So it's it's pretty shitty. <laughs> Trust me. It's a lot. It's It actually requires, in a certain twisted and fucked up way, it requires more than a normal weapon does. A normal weapon requires six of a certain titanite uh, type. And yeah. So yeah, you need six uh, normal titanites, uh, six large, and then six chunks, and then at the end a slab. That's actually another thing that I find very handy in this game. You do not need a slab for the final upgrades for the special weapons that require twinkling titanite or petrified dragon bones. That is something that I really appreciate there. Even though I now do know that there is an enemy that can drop titanite slabs. And I could also technically farm it in here. I can also farm bonfire aesthetics from a, like in a certain way. If I feel like I need to. So this is the bridge I was talking about. If you destroy eggs and if you in the same run go over this bridge, then a dragon will attack the bridge and make you drop down and die. Because <laughs> you killed their children. You don't care about their brethren, but you do kill their children. And yeah, I remember this. I remember. Hello, Mini Aldia. I'm gonna go and skip your text though. Because uh, lore is not my thing, and I'm also just... I, I don't have time for... <laughs> I don't feel like spending time in the story anymore. <laughs> there we go. As cool as it may be sometimes. Right, I do think I'm going to try to do the dragon shrine in this episode also. So the dragon shrine is very interesting. These other dragon warriors, you have these bowers over here, the drake keepers. 
And then you also have the normal Dragon Warriors. Now, the Dragon Warriors will not fight you. As long as you don't run past these dudes. These dudes are basically a rite of passage in a certain way. And if you run past them, then these guys will become aggro towards you. They will start attacking you. They also have a lot of different drops. These are going to be enemies I'm going to have to farm for a long ass time. So I'm basically going to have the entire Dragon Shrine on my ass at a certain point. <laughs> but I'm going to be grinding that stuff. But that's for later on. I'm probably going to die a lot. You also get the entire Judgment Armor. Which I do quite like from, uh, from looks. Right. There's also a chest over here, and a lot of people have died over here because they probably ran past the dude, which then aggroes the other dudes. So, there's three bonfire aesthetics. There's also quite a sizable amount of good stuff in here. So, as you can see, they're they're kind of weird. They they kind of aggro towards you sometimes, which which like makes people attack them. And once you attack them, there's no going back. Then they just then you're just gonna get attacked by everybody in the shrine. These guys work like the old knights, they attack almost identical to them, only a lot faster. They also sometimes have magic attacks. Um, and they're also still weak to striking damage, so... If you have a weapon of any kind that has striking damage, I would definitely recommend using it against them. They also drop some amazing weapons. Because yes, you can get the weapons from the drake keepers, so like the big knights. And you can also get the weapons from uh, these dragon warriors. I'm not sure about the Dragon Warrior weapons. I don't think that they scale with anything. But I do know that they're pretty dang... Or, well, I, I don't know if they're good. But I do know that the Drake Keeper stuff is pretty dang good. I'd say it's like some of the best normal weaponry. You can get a straight sword from the first one. You can get a great hammer from the second one. You can get a great... An ultra great sword from this boy over here. You can also get a uh, Drake Keeper's Great Axe in this chest. <laughs> And you can also get a Drake uh, Keeper's Great Hammer from another enemy a little bit deeper in. So this guy is an issue. This guy, I seem to remember this guy being an issue. Ow, how in the fuck did you... This guy attacks really fast. Oh boy. Does a sizable amount of damage. And I died. <sighs> I died because I suck at the game. This guy's an issue, like I said. He's especially an issue if you do a certain thing in this area. Or if you want to do a certain thing. I would say that all these knights are an issue if you want to do a certain thing in this area. I also want to make sure that I don't let them despawn because I need to farm these guys. I'm also... Like, I'm doing a lot of damage, but I'm also like... Hmm. Maybe I should equip some better armor. I should be able to do that as long as I use this club. There we go. Uh, I can wear some better boots also. There we go. That's already a lot better. There's no boss at the end of this place. At least... Normally there's no boss at the end of this place. Alright, let me just go and casually walk behind you, because... I did not want to be squished by that big ol' hammer. My god, farming these things is gonna be so nasty. I think. I remember <laughs> when I originally farmed for, uh, I think, yeah, I farmed for two Drake. Right, I farmed in, like, in one of my playthroughs, I farmed for the Great Hammer and the Great Sword that this guy's using. And in another playthrough, I farmed for the Straight Sword. And both of those times, I actually farmed them by going into New Game Plus every single time. Basically fighting them until they despawned, which was, <laughs> mm, it was a bad idea. <laughs> It was not a good idea. I can guarantee you that. It's not one of my better ideas. It ended in magnificent failure. Well, actually, no, wait. I did manage to get the weapons, but it just ended in a lot of pain. Because all the enemies over here become bonkers. <laughs> With the amount of damage they do. So, yeah. Alright, we have this dude over here with a great hammer. And also a great shield. You already get the Great Shield in a chest, so... There's no real... Can I, like, do anything? Come on. Okay, phew. There's no real point in... 
farming this guy for the shield. It is uh, for the Great Hammer though, I think. These are all very obscure things because I've never really farmed for a couple of these weapons. It's not going to be easy though, because there also aren't that many of them. <laughs> so it's probably going to take me a long time to get that entire show going. And there's also a dude over here that spawns. Yep, okay. I need to equip some stuff real quickly. And hope that the dude... I think he just stays up there. But I really don't want to aggro the dude that just spawned. So, he has a chance of dropping a weapon that he uses. And if I can get it from him, that would make my life a lot easier. Because otherwise I would have to do the Dragon Covenant. Or I might be able to get it to drop from somebody else. So Dragon Fang Villard is using a greatsword, like a dragon greatsword, basically. There's another enemy in this place who dual wields these things. So I think I might be able to get it from him also, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Alright, squeeze. <laughs> Gotta love the squishies. Unless if I miss. Oh well. You're done anyway. He did not drop anything. Joyous occasions. Okay then. I guess I'm not going to be getting the thing that I wanted. Oh well. We also got ourselves the petrified egg, which if you give it to the merchant that is in um, the Iron Keep, you can use it to enter the Dragon Covenant. And I would have to give like 30 things to the Dragon Covenant, so... Yeah, I need to like finish the Dragon Covenant if I want to get that particular greatsword. Which is not going to be too big of an issue, I think, if I can do it together with Cube. Which I think I can do at this point with <laughs> with my soul memory of uh, 4 million. <laughs> this is the first time I actually decided to take a look at my soul memory and I, apparently it's uh, 4 million. So yeah, I think I should be fine. I think I should be able to get... I think I should be able to play with Cube. I'm pretty dang close to getting, like, I'm actually, I'm really close to the level that I was at at the end of our playthroughs. Like, at the, at the end of the co playthrough, in any case. I'm not sure about the other one. I'm go this way to see if there's anything else. No? I thought there was some chest over here. But apparently that was wrong. I'm also going to re-equip my item discovery thing, because I want to see if I can get lucky with, um, with a drop. I want to see if I can actually get it from this dude. All of them are bowing for me. Really? You piece of shit. Just rolling through my attacks? Who do you think you are? It's a dude who can kill me, that's who he is. Uh, let me go into a strong attack. I can... nope. I cannot squish him if he decides to roll through that shit. Which he does every single time. Okay. Good to Let me go and walk backwards while I re-equip my battle axe. Because that is my best thing to use. He's gonna attack me. Okay. As you can see, he's also dual wielding these things, so... Have fun taking care of this guy, because he does a lot of damage. As you might have already noticed. Not even sure if I can parry him if he dual wields. <laughs> Just keep attacking him. Alright... Nope. There we go. I did not get a drop from him. Which is very much expected, but still disappointing nonetheless. So can you imagine if you aggroed like all of these dudes over here? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bad situation. What are you using? You're using the straight sword, okay. Yeah, the ones with the shields are using the straight swords. Actually, nah, it's, I'll just have to say. <laughs> It'll just be something I'm gonna have to take care of once I feel like it. And we can talk to the ancient dragon. Who gives you the ashen mist heart, which you can use to enter uh, the memories of dead people. <laughs> which is the next thing I'm gonna do. You can also attack the ancient dragon, turn him into a boss, and have and fight like one of the most difficult bosses in... Or at least, I would say arguably, one of the most difficult bosses in um, in the Souls franchise. <laughs> or definitely in Dark Souls 2. 
Even though in the original Dark Souls 2 it was a lot more overpowered than he is right now. In the original Dark Souls 2, if he hit you with a fire attack, you were definitely dead. Well, right now there's still a chance that you might survive, depending on how powerful you are. Right. <laughs> I hate doing this. I really don't like doing this. I really don't like putting my stats into those things, but oh uh, well. It's because of one... well, it's because of two weapons, really. That I can't really use it anything else because of the strength requirement. Alright, people, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Just Fit while playing Dark Souls 2, Scar of the First Sin. Strength build, and next episode we're gonna go and deal with the memories. Goodbye.